starts with an S and it ends with a T. It comes out of you and it comes out of me. I know what you're thinking, but don't call it that. Be scientific and call it scat. Out on a hike on a cold winter day, found some scat right in my way. In the middle of the trail or up on some rocks, well displayed scat is probably fox. Down by the creek near a hollow log, scat full of berries and bones of a frog. Late last night he was out with the moon, waiting in the creek it was Mr. Raccoon. This scat is different, it's green, not brown. Close to the creek was where it was found. The white on the scat means it's a bird deuce. This is the scat from a Canada goose. If you want to find out what animals eat, take a good look at what they excrete. Stuck in the scat are all kinds of clues, parts of the food their bodies can't use. Like bones and fur. Like bones and fur. Berries and seeds. Berries and seeds. Crayfish shells, ouch. Crayfish shells, ouch. And grass and weeds. And grass and weeds. If you want to know who was out and around, take a hard look at the scat on the ground. It tells us what they eat, it tells us who they are, and that's what we know about scat so far.